I have one day to make a full Hermitcraft episode. That is going to be tough. So we're going to see what we can do in one day. If you've watched Hermitcraft, you know it takes normally two to three days minimum to get an episode done. So we're going to have to basically speed run an episode of Hermitcraft today in order to get it ready. And the first thing I've got to do is get my boots back. For that, I need levels. And for levels, I need to trade. So let's upgrade these boots and get them enchanted. Now, if we're going to go and put some enchantments on these boots there's only one place to do it and that is looky looky at my bookie hold the phone what is this is this burn stick oh there's oh there's more is this burn stick is this burn stick what on earth is a burn stick i, I don't know is this a burn stick it certainly is sticks that are being burnt they're on all of them is this burn stick do they mean the chimneys or the campfires is this burn stick? And why is there sometimes a space and sometimes not? Is this burn stick? I honestly have no idea. Yes. I, th I think it is. Yes. I don't know how to answer this. I don't know who's done this either. How am I supposed to answer this question? It's on every single one. Look at this. Is this burn stick? Yes, this is burn stick. I guess. I just got hideously distracted. Okay, we're off to the shopping district because we need to enchant our boots our wee little boots and actually we can oh wow sparkly trees the shopping district has so much money it's growing on trees i was gonna say we could check if scar's seen our invitation doesn't doesn't look like it <laughs> they're still in there chilling i've got to do something wow i wish there was a chair here. That'll do. So we want a quick trip to looky looky at my bookie. Probably the most profitable shop. Looky looky at my cookie opening soon. Now that sounds like a deal. So we're going to need an unbreaking book. He hasn't even cashed out. This is definitely more successful than the barge and probably way easier. We need a feather falling, probably a death strider protection. And of course, I don't have enough levels. Hang on, I've just flown all across the shopping district and not even realized the mycelium's gone. It's all bright green grass. Oh, except over there. It looks so weird in a good way. It looks, I don't know. I can't decide whether I like it or not. At first I was like, yeah, I want all the my mycelium gone. But now I see it in green, it's, I'm, I'm just not used to it. But I think it is a better change overall. Wow. This must have taken a stupid amount of time. And look at this road. How did I miss all this? I saw the trees with the diamonds, of course, but I missed all this. Look at that. A proper promenade. A nice street. And the path goes down into my shop, which is quite cool. Whoa, 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 the barge. B burn, burn stick, burn stick. Are these, these are all burn stick questions again. They are all on top of campfires. I'll be honest, I have no idea what a burn stick is, but yes, this is a campfire. I've got to tidy up my shop now. It's a lot of burn sticks. Yes. Burn sticks. I don't really know what else to say. Right, so while we're here, we'll do the rounds. We are running low on quite a lot of stuff, particularly sand. We didn't sell any netherite stuff, but we did sell some of our regular stuff. Okay, so job one ticked off the list for the start of this one day episode. I am in a mad rush to try and get everything done. We need some more levels so that we can enchant it up. And to be honest, I'm a little bit flustered. I don't really know what to do. I need to go and finish my mansion. That's what I need to do. So let's head over to the upside down and get cracking on that mansion. I need some sort of nether song to get, get me through this tunnel every time I use it. It's pretty painful. Flying, flying in the nether, flying, flying in the nether, flying, flying in the nether. <laughs> or am I falling, falling in the nether, falling, falling in the nether. Oh, thank goodness we're here. I also need a better system than going into my farm and falling down. I need to get, I need to get a move on basically and sort this out. It's such a mess. And another ghast. So much to do. So little time but actually since last episode i've realized 
there's a few rules to the upside down and there's absolutely nowhere that they're written. So I think before we get into the time lapse, we need to kind of set this in motion in some way. So maybe hanging somewhere around the middle. Let's try and line it up at least a little bit with my mansion. So perhaps here we'll make a little hanging platform. So a little temporary platform here. I mean, it's it's literally just me and kind of B-dubs that's in the nether. So I don't think we need to worry about making it too pretty. At least not for now. This also gives me a good chance to use some of these chains. And now we create a board. The upside down. Rules for all citizens. So what I'm thinking is, number one is the ultimate rule. Do not AFK. It's a pretty simple rule. And number two is all new citizens must be pranked. So those are the two rules at the moment. Since B-dubs is the new citizen in the upside down, he gets to do rule number three. Now here's where it gets dangerous and interesting. B-dubs can put any rule he likes, literally anything. The more creative he is, the more dangerous this gets. And if Scar comes along, he can make the fourth rule and so on and so forth, depending on how many people take up the invitation. And we may even invite a couple more people at the end of this episode. So what we're going to end up with, hopefully, is a community of weird upside down buildings and the most ridiculous rules you've ever seen. If you have any ideas for crazy rules, it could be anything like citizens must not refer to each other by their Minecraft names. They must come up with nicknames for everyone. And then we need to come up with punishment. So obviously, if you AFK, you're going to get pranked. All new citizens must be pranked. That's, I mean, that's a given. And then we need to kind of come up with some punishments. That's, this, that's what this is becoming. Uh, I've just created the weirdest community outpost in the nether I think ever and I don't really know why I've done this either I just think this will be a lot of fun so what's B-Dub's gonna come up with what's Scar gonna come up with I don't know but you can help by making some suggestions and I think this will be so much fun in fact it's so much fun I'm a little bit scared but now we've set up the rules we've got a nice little hanging platform this place is gonna get busy and it's going to need tidying up. It's, it's going to need a lot of work. But I am running out of time, majorly. This is still just a one day episode. So, without further ado, we must, we must try and make some progress here. I probably don't have the time to do it. But we must continue with the time lapse of the Upside Down Mansion. And in 3, 2, 1, let's go. That's enough. Gas. No. Whoa. Enough. Oh, I'm having a. I'm. Oh no. No. Had enough. Ah, oh, I just, I just finished all this. After that rude interruption, I have completed another section of the upside down mansion. I did this in such a rush. I ran out of certain blocks and I've had to stop and also this represented two hours. I mean, seriously, making an episode of Hermitcraft in one day is just insane. The fact that I managed to sacrifice a few hours to do this is quite something. Now, I'm only adding to the issue that there are multiple places for mobs to spawn, but we will sort that out another time. And this time, there's a back. A full, intact back of the mansion. And then we're going to make this our interior and probably use that door. So that means I will take this down. But I want to get back to the overworld now as I feel like I've done everything I can here. I've got a delivery of some sand to make for the barge. 
And I feel, I feel like we can make a couple more invitations to the Upside Down. We've obviously invited B-Dubs and he's accepted. And we've obviously invited Scar and he's somehow missed our invitation. I don't know how, but he's missed it. So I feel like we should slowly, slowly, slowly invite more and more people to the Upside Down and get this crazy rule train on the go. Oh, ow! Why is why is it not going? Oh. No! I've got such a long way to go. I literally don't have time for this. I literally don't! Wow, this is weird. Look, it looks like if you stare at my character, it looks like I'm slowly getting closer and closer and closer. But I'm not. That's like a weird optical illusion. And now we're walking, walking in the nether, walking, walking in the nether. <laughs> Help me! The light at the end of the tunnel! It's nearly- we're nearly there! Killing those- I've got three durability, that's all I need. And now we trade to fix our elytra. When I make a proper pigman farm, w the XP won't be an issue. Actually, it looks like I've got boxes of potential stock everywhere. So this might be a good opportunity to go and fill up the barge with various items. And if I'm going to do more invitations, I need more green heads. I I've done this like three times now, but I keep running out. I need a stock of green heads. So you know what we got to do? We got to go and ask Mumbo to kill us again. In which case, we need we need to do it a little bit differently this time. Let's go and see if we can find Mumbo. He's usually at his base in some capacity. I can't find Mumbo anywhere, but I did see a floating Iskal over yonder. Looks like he's just busy doing his thing. So we'll do what we always do. Fly in without him noticing, hopefully. Put all our stuff in a chest. There we go, all our stuff. Set respawn. And then slowly approach. Psst. <laughs> it's a, it just says, it just says, psst, psst. Yeah, he's got it. That one says, kill me. <laughs> Is he gonna has, no? Yeah, wait. There was a slight, has, there was a slight hesitation. There was a slight hesitation. <laughs> okay, lol. Again, again. I need to find new and inventive ways of getting killed by my friends. Wow. Whoa. There has to be a better way of getting your your head in this game. <laughs> and now he's got he's got the idea now. We put on all our stuff and we vamoose out of here. So I'm planning on inviting quite a lot of people to the upside down, Iskal included at some point, but I want to pace it as pace it whose base is this? Oh, it's Corralis' base. That means we're on the right track. So the person that I want to invite next is actually Etho, who I haven't really interacted with much this season. So it'd be interesting to see if he decides to come to the Upside Down or not. I have a feeling he would come up with some ridiculous rule. And that's, that's kind of why I want to invite him, just to see what he comes up with. I'm lost. Aha, there it is. Etho's base of madness. I'm not going to do a delivery green for this one. I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm actually going to make a dispenser of some kind. So I'll do a dropper down like this. We'll do a test with a green head. And then we put the mystery button. Now, I don't know if Etho will actually accept the invitation to the upside down. I don't really know what Etho does. It seems like he just does madness, if I'm honest. So let's see if this works. Pop. There it is. Out of the ground. That's exactly what I wanted. Imagine this mystery button and you get a green head. Now to find an anvil in this madness. I've renamed this green head. Psst. Join the upside down. No. No, I didn't. I used my last level to rename that head. And now... Oh, for goodness sake! 
<laughs> I don't have time for this. Okay, let's try this again. Done. 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 And done. And then we'll tempt him with mysterious button. Press it. Okay, that took far longer than I thought. Let's get back to what we were going to do, which is restock the barge really quickly. Let's do some quick stocking, because I know that there's some things that we're just completely out of, and I'm going away, and I don't have time to restock it while I'm gone. That's about as much stocking as I can do before I have to go. Now clearly, Scar has spent a long time making this into grass, as we said earlier, but I just had a thought and I thought it would be quite funny. I don't know if you'll notice, maybe he will, maybe he won't, but we're going to start small, just a few blocks, and we'll plant some mycelium. You can never get rid of the mycelium. The mycelium resistance! <laughs> The longer Scar doesn't notice, the bigger this patch is gonna get. And we'll see- I don't know, we'll just see what- we'll see what happens. He might notice and get rid of it immediately. My plan this episode was to expand the barge, but I clearly haven't got time for that. Normally that would take pretty much half a day. But that doesn't mean that we can't develop our shop. This is possibly my favourite thing this season that I've, I've really enjoyed building, expanding, and supplying the barge, and I think it's a very popular shop. But, I have another idea. So, we have the backup box. I will make one of those in the future, they take quite a long time. But, given the fact that I've got a lot of grindstones, I thought I could do something a little bit more risky. And what we can do is have mystery boxes mystery barge boxes that's what they are mystery barge boxes so you have to pick your green one of them will have the jackpot where you make way more goods than you pay this looks this looks ridiculous so the idea is you're not allowed to look in the boxes that's key you're absolutely not allowed to look in the boxes so if i place them upside down i believe they can't be opened that's right they can't be opened and you have to choose which Korean you're going to take the mystery box from. So this is kind of a way for me to make some diamonds and sell stock at the same time. But some of them will give you straight up some diamonds. So let's head back to the base and fill up these boxes with junk. I, I mean mystery items, not junk. <laughs> So the key here is to make sure that each box has at least some valuables in. And I'm sure I can make that happen. Because I want people to come back and shop there. Including random player heads. I could get rid of some lanterns. Each one will be full of goodies. In fact, I think this one is going to be the jackpot box. In fact, the jackpot is going to be so good it gets a netherite ingot in there. And we all know how valuable they are. There we go, that is the jackpot box. You get a random assortment of really good stuff. Some of it's not great, I mean there's a bit of stone in there. It's gonna be a smidge better than this one, which is gonna be mostly cobblestone. There'll be some bits, look, I'm gonna put an ancient debris in there, there's gonna be blaze rods, so you're not gonna feel too cheated out of this. Maybe a couple of diamonds, get your money back, but for the most part, this one's probably gonna be the worst one, like a lot of, a lot of junk items. But that's what you do when you roll the dice. In fact, some fireworks, a green head. <laughs> Everyone needs a green head. In fact, I'm going to bump up the jackpot box to be really, really OP. That is such a good amount. Just the netherite ingot along with the diamonds, this makes it OP. Absolutely OP. So the next box I've been filling up with general junk. There's a few odds and sods, occasionally stuff you use, you know, like the golden carrots, but it's not really going to be worth it. But I want to include some things like logs. Logs are something you use all the time, and they cost a couple of diamonds a pop, so then they're not underutilized by any means. There we go, that one's done. And then this one is definitely the junk one where you, you kind of lucked out. We'll see how this all goes. If they're popular, then I could, I could get rid of some, I, I mean, mystery items quite often. Right, this one is the jackpot. 
And we'll call them barge box. Jackpot barge box. I love that. Naff. Naff barge box. Naff. Naff just means rubbish. A bit, a bit, a bit pants. And that leaves the last one. And that leaves not bad barge box. Now, what do we charge for this? So, going on the naff barge box, you got a couple of diamonds for the shulker. One, two, probably about 10 diamonds all in. And most of that value comes from the ancient debris. It is really filled with junk. So that one will make me the most profit. The jackpot barge box is overvalued. So this, this has got 19 diamonds plus two netherite ingots, which are worth a, a massive amount, a massive amount. They're worth like 30 diamonds a pop. So you really win if you win this one. And then this one again, not so good, about, about 12 to 15 diamonds. So judging by the value of the jackpot box, I would say, whoa! No, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't say whoa. <laughs> I'd say I want to try 40 diamonds, 40 diamonds. Cause if you win that jackpot box, you are up like 60 plus diamonds. I have no idea what order these are in. I'm going to move these around off camera. I'm going to cut it so no one knows what order they're in. Okay. All right. They are now all shuffled and they are now all placed. Now we need, we need a payment green. We'll put, we'll put him in here, shall we? We'll put the payment green down there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I think we've got this sorted. Barge mystery boxes. Pay 42 diamonds and take a box. What's inside? It's a mystery. Do not look before buying. I know I shouldn't have to say that, but I really do. I really, really do. It can be too tempting to just try and open it beforehand. So if they were if they were really going to have a look, they'd have to break this and it would just be a whole thing. So only I know which one is the jackpot. And boy, oh boy, is it a good jackpot. 42 diamonds is a lot to pay, but that's also what you have to pay to roll the dice for a good opportunity. And there's a one in three chance. It's a pretty good opportunity if you ask me. And then there's a payment green down there. Got to keep the barge fresh. But I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. It has been extremely difficult and an extremely long day to get everything done on this episode. But I feel like we've done quite well despite the time constraints. And we'll be back in another episode to carry on with our antics. There may be a relatively long gap between episodes. I can't guarantee it, just so you're aware. So I shall see you in the next episode. And as always, thank you very much for watching and good bye.